for Cracker Takeover of Knucklehead. Okay? We're going to try to play something like 60 songs over about 26 hours. Okay? <laughs> something like that, right? Okay. So if you don't know, I'm David Lowry. I'm the lead singer of, of Cracker. <laughs> and thanks for coming out early uh, to see this show. Um, I do this uh, little acoustic sort of uh, intro to the show. Um, well, when we do shows like this, because this is sort of like, a, we, we, we have a long history of doing these birthday weekend shows. Did I mention it's me and Johnny's birthday this weekend? <laughs> Sunday, yeah. um, we did this for a number of years and it eventually turned into the camp out in Pioneer Town, California, yeah. Pappy's and Harriet. Well, this place kind of reminds me of that in a certain way, so it's nice to be back here. All right, so um, I'm going to play a few songs for you, tell you a few stories about how these songs came about. I've been doing these solo records lately. They're only available in physical format, that is CD. Um, a lot of these songs are from that. And they're sort of autobiographical, not exactly, because a lot of times they're about other people, so they're not about me. But they're snippets from my, from my life, right? But I wanted to start the show today with the first song that I ever wrote that a crowd reacted to. It's kind of where I got bit by the bug to write songs and be a performer. But what had happened is I had this little... Uh, sort of three-piece group with Chris Mola, who was later in Camber Van Beethoven. And um, I think it was, I, th I believe we had somebody named Emerson Tracy also in our band. I hope I'm not mixing it up. But uh, we had this little three-piece, and my sister was student teaching at a local elementary school. And she said, hey, why don't you guys come down and play for my class one day? We're like, uh, okay, that's kind of cool, right? And we've written this song about the Lincoln Shrine in Redlands, California. Okay, well, why did we do that? Well, we were from Redlands, California, and believe it or not, there is a shrine to President Lincoln in Redlands, California. It's a little, it's kind of a weird story how it ended up there, but basically, you know, some sort of 1890s equivalent of the uh, you know tech entrepreneur billionaire or whatever like that he bought a bunch of lincoln stuff and put it in this building in redlands california it's it's para it's a very vast big collection of, of memorabilia and things that belong to president lincoln but it was kind of the only thing in our town that was like a tourist attraction so every year when we were in school there, we'd go on a field trip to the Lincoln Shrine, right? So we wrote the song about the Lincoln Shrine and we sang it to, I guess they're probably like fifth graders or sixth graders or something at this elementary school and they went crazy. <laughs> they loved it. Okay. Anyway, it goes like this, you'll see why. Back in first grade, second grade, and third grade, now sixth grade too. Teacher used to make us all go down to the Shred Lincoln Shrine. The Lincoln Shrine is some kind of thing for Lincoln the man. And I don't want to go, I don't want to go to the Lincoln Shrine. They got a handkerchief, so what? 
Maybe Lincoln actually blew his nose in it. Over here, there's a letter from his aunt Mary. She lives in Fontana. And I don't want to go, I don't want to go to the Lincoln Shrine. Ah uh -huh. 